In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to lock cells and sheets so that other people can't mess with important data. I've got a spreadsheet open here where I want someone to choose a city by using a dropdown. The cells next to the dropdown have formulas that validate against the chosen city. I don't want anyone messing up the formulas, so I need to lock those cells. To do that, I'll start by highlighting the cells that I want to lock. Then go to the menu bar and click on Data, then Protected Sheets and Ranges. This will open a sidebar where I can select what we want to have protected. The first option is to name the range that is being protected. This is optional, but it comes in handy if you're going to reference the range in any future formulas. The next field has the range that is currently selected. If the correct cells are selected, then this doesn't need to be changed. Otherwise, we could click on the little grid icon to the right and select New Cells. Another option is to click on the Sheet link and protect the entire sheet. For something like this example, it would make more sense to protect the entire sheet other than the drop-down box. This way, people can't change my titles or add random text into empty cells. To do that, I'll check the Accept Certain Cells box and select my drop-down cell. Then click on OK. Now we can click on the button to set permissions. This will open up a box with a couple of options. The first option will allow people to edit the cells but will show a warning if they do. Let's click on Done to see what that looks like. Now if I type some random text in a cell and press Enter, a warning box pops up to let me know that I should not be changing that part of the cell. It will still allow me to do it though. Now let's go back to the permissions in the sidebar and click on change permissions. The second option in that box is to restrict who can edit. From here you can make it so that only you can edit the sheet or add some collaborators who will also be able to make changes. Once you set permissions, other people who aren't included as editors will not be able to change any part of the sheet outside the designated cells. And finally, if you need to delete any of the protected ranges, all you have to do is click on the trash can icon in the upper right of the sidebar. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, click on the like button or share it with somebody else who might like it. Maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in another video.